Welcome back to Healing at Home with Ozone. And today we look at how to create ozone water, ozonated water, which is a great way to increase the oxygen uptake and to balance out if we have any kind of dysbiosis, imbalance in our gut. It's a very powerful way to bring in a lot of oxygens to mobilize your immune system and to rebalance all the gut bacteria from drinking ozonated water. But you can also fill it into a spray and spray superficial onto wounds. You can wash your shower with it. You can disinfect areas. You can, the wash board, you know, your, your cutting board in the kitchen, you can spray that if it's out of wood to kill off pathogens. You know, those guys, <laughs> it's fantastic. Ozonated water is a very, very powerful tool. It's fast, effective, cheap, totally safe and can be applied three to five times per day, for example, with a spray on a wound and you can also ingest it by drinking it. Now, prepare a deep and narrow glass and I'll show you in a moment how we do it. A deep and narrow glass, the longer it is and the more narrow it is, the more those bubbles have time to actually uh, dissolve into the water and are taken up by the water. Now let's have a look how we create ozone water. As you can see, I filled in water and a whole lot of ice to keep the water really cold because this is very important. I also used very clean spring water that we use for drinking anyway because that's the main purpose that we want to do with ozone water. We can use it in a spray bottle, but the main purpose would be to use it to drink, to oxygenate the body and to rebalance our gut biome. So now there's two ways to do that. Number one, you can hang this little bubble stone directly into the glass and fill it with ozone and it will bubble and the ozone comes out up on top. And that's really not a problem if you do it outdoors. You just don't want to do it indoors. So if you have that set up, on the balcony or beside a window, you set this onto the sims at the door, at the window, and you have it bubble, that's absolutely perfect. Now in our case, we do it indoors and we do it quite regular. So I've created, I got this bottle by Ikea. So it's a very simple standard bottle. It has a little rubber lid. On one side, I've connected here this oxygen bottle with a little screw connector. And on the other side, I connected for the overflow my destruct unit. Now that's a very easy way. If you have it like that, you set it up here with this rubber lid. It's nicely sealed. The destruct unit would now destroy the ozone that is coming out. And my bubbler goes in through that hose to that bubble stone. Now, if I just open up the bottle at 1 16th, so a slow motion rate, you can see the oxygen will start flowing and it starts bubbling down here. Now that's a great way and the excess will run into our destruct unit, but that's still just oxygen. So if I turn on now the ozone generator and I produce ozone, I can set that to a very slow rate 132 is high concentration, but you can see hardly any ozone comes out. So if I turn this to 1 16th or 1 8th, that's actually now releasing lots of oxygen, lots of ozone into the water. And that's how we usually do it. 1 16th is a very beautiful way to bubble the ozone. And because it's contained in this water, it also is very cold water to absorb the ozone it just bubbles happily and in 15 to 20 minutes, this will be finished. Now, do I smell in here any kind of ozone? No. Even if I have my nose here, all I can smell is oxygen because that's all that comes out through this destruct unit. So all the ozone that we blow into here is actually destroyed in here and at the other end, pure oxygen is coming out. Now that's a very convenient way, as you can see, to produce indoors ozone water. And if we have that running, well, it will be 15 minutes until it's all finished. And that's a nice little setup that you can produce the first lot because you don't want to keep it. You want to use it fresh. 
And then you use the second lot, the third lot. You can wash your shower, you can clean, you disinfect your cutting boards, you wound, you spray it on open wounds to increase the oxygenation and also disinfection and you use it to drink. Now that's a fantastic way and we really recommend this as one of your main parts of the day. It doesn't taste very nice, but it's extremely powerful.